Today, I'm sorry to say that one of this week's stories is a little wishy-washy. This checkpoint. Welcome to Checkpoint, where we've booted up, logged on, jacked in, and fallen asleep. Jack in? Oh, I think I did that wrong. Ah, don't worry about it. Like Checkpoint always says, in, on, off, or up, as long as you're doing some kind of jacking, it's fine. In a story that Paul assures me is not an April Fool's goof that got lost in all the mess. For real, though? All right, well, uh, in a crossover that I'm confident nobody could have predicted, noted bad place Ubisoft is teaming up with the Mr. Men books to create a series of, yeah, Assassin's Creed Mr. Men books. Adam Hargreaves, who took over from his dad, series creator Roger Hargreaves, has been continuing the books for some time now and will work on these six new titles. According to an Ubisoft press release, quote, by mixing the Assassin's Creed sense of adventure and history with the colorful and delightful designs of the Little Mr. Men, these books will appeal to both young and adult readers. And I mean, they won't. I, I'm fascinated. Certainly. Actually, perhaps baffled is a better term. The first three are going to be Mr. Ezio, Little Miss Cassandra, and Little Miss Ivor. And hell, maybe I will pick one up just to see how a children's book is going to tackle the concept of an assassin. Hey, kids, power washers rule. It's like having a super soaker that can cut holes in your younger siblings. But also, they kind of suck. They constantly leak, they make a ton of noise, and they're a mess to clean up when you're done, and all you want to do is drink a beer and barbecue a small animal, and think about how the only thing holding you back from being truly at peace in the universe is a slightly higher lift on your truck. Thankfully, technology has solved the many problems of the power washer the same way it solved the burden of farming, trucking, and being a goat. Meet Power Wash Simulator by Future Lab. It's a simulator where you power wash, but it's also where you get to enjoy all the good r slash power washing pornography good feels that come from lasering a ton of muck out of the siding of a house you definitely can't afford. Did I just read a press release pretending it was a news story? Sure did. Then again, watching someone blast smooth lines in dirty, dirty concrete is satisfying in a way rivaled only by watching your enemies come up and, and while I don't recommend buying this game as a replacement for actual brain therapy, this is a nice thing you can do to calm down your skull's loudest tenant. Absolute paper hands George Sherman is selling all his GameStop shares because he, oh wait, hang on. No, sorry, he's leaving the company. Right. George Sherman, the CEO of GameStop, is leaving the company. And we assume that when he made the announcement, he was wearing a tuxedo, cape, top hat, and mask and proclaimed, my work here is done. As part of his grand exit, he's taking a cool $179 million stock payout because even though he missed performance targets, GameStop decoupled his stock options from performance, owing to the pandemic, and instead tied it to time at the company. Which probably didn't sound like it would amount to as much until all the diamond-handed silverbacks over on Reddit started flinging their poop at hedge funds and blew the stock up. Or whatever it was that happened and keeps happening. Must be nice to be the CEO when you've responded to this influx of value by closing hundreds of stores and then getting out while the getting's good. According to Reuters, Sherman is going to take home more from leaving GameStop than the annual salaries of the CEOs for Viacom or JP Morgan Chase. Can one of the GME holders explain this to me? Is this whole thing still meant to stick it to the rich? One of them got away. Tamagotchi, a toy from just after my youth, is now full color, comes with a camera, and costs 60 fucking dollars. I don't care about any of this because all you fuckers have been pronouncing it wrong for decades, and I need to correct you because goddammit, if there's going to be someone right on the internet, it's going to be me. Tamagotchi gets its name from being shaped like an egg, or as the Japanese language calls eggs, Tamago. If you're sitting there thinking, who gives a shit, then hey, don't let me disturb you. Go back to playing with your Pokemons and posting your GIFs. You can't be saved at this point. Also, again, $60? When it dies due to inevitable neglect, I hope it throws a lavish funeral. 
Apparently, big secrets of Fortnite lore are to be revealed in the upcoming Batman Zero Point crossover comic that sees an amnesiac Batman dumped onto the Fortnite island and follows him as he tries to piece together what's happening by leaving memento-style notes for himself while replaying the same 20 minutes of a Fortnite game over and over again. And yeah, I did say Batman in the same breath as secret Fortnite lore. Fortnite Battle Royale was explicitly never meant to be that deep. It was just assets from a different game thrown into a Battle Royale skin for fun. And it's honestly amazing how they're very ably laying the tracks while the train barrels forward, seemingly consulting with their creative team of an Arthurian wizard, an eight-year-old in the throes of the biggest sugar rush known to science, and a madman just yes-anding every batshit thing they say and begging for more. I think I've made it abundantly clear that Fortnite is a cipher to me, but that doesn't mean I think this project is bad. It's certainly not the silliest thing Batman has done. In the first Batman comic I ever read, he stopped the Joker from stealing Canada by hog-tying him at the legally distinct Calgary Stampede, but not before he and two teens stopped off at the local Zellers. And I have to imagine Fortnite will leave a more relevant cultural mark than a defunct Canadian department store. And now, some quick points we wrote. Beach, go! Reverse! Aw, oh, dang it! Remember that unconfirmed rumor that Microsoft was going to buy Discord? Now we have an unconfirmed rumor that those talks are over, and Discord is no longer going to be acquired by Microsoft or indeed any other company, seeing as how they're happy with just being worth $7 billion sitting there on their own. You might ask, how are they worth so much money being a free service? And the answer is simple. Volume. Okay, yes, it's because the value is access to you and all of your data, but that's not as funny, is it? Nintendo is suing Gary Bowser and Max Luarn of hacking group Team Executor for, as Nintendo alleges, running an international piracy ring that is operated by selling Nintendo hardware hacks since 2013. Bowser and Luarn were arrested last year and charged with 11 felonies, but that's not good enough for Nintendo and it's obvious why. There's only one Bowser and he runs the company now, so don't get any ideas, Gary. The Call of Duty Warzone community is up in arms over a microtransaction purchasable cosmetic skin that is having an actual impact on gameplay. It's total covering all black design allowing players to very effectively hide in shadows. It's been a thorn in the game for a year now but is no longer earnable through gameplay. But an almost identical skin is now available via a $20 purchase, and the notion that modern warfare is decided by who has the better funded military is secretly the most realistic observation a Call of Duty game has made in years. LEGO has announced the new Luigi starter course for their Super Mario themed LEGO sets. Though you might have already been spoiled about this news if you updated your LEGO Mario's firmware and heard him start calling out Luigi's name. Now that children are allying with their own toys to annoy parents into spending money, there truly is no escape from the grim darkness of the future. So now that we have Luigi, Luigi's just going to start calling out for, like, Daisy or Birdo. Birdo? Because of their intense chemistry. You didn't pick up on that subtext? No. Well, you've read the manga, at least. I have not. That's our show, folks. Thanks for watching. You can tell we script these because it's impossible to imagine Beej not reading the Mario manga. Who are you talking to? Coming up, YouTuber Kyle Hill has released a video calculating the pressing force that Resident Evil's Lady Dimitrescu would exert if she stepped on you. And I mention this only because it's Sponsored by Capcom. What the hell, Capcom? It's not funny if you're into it. Now you're just being horny on main. Two things. One, I think actually the biggest gaming news story of the week might be Jeff Kaplan leaving Blizzard. He was the lead designer of Overwatch. Ah, yes. He, he worked on WoW for many years. Well, he, he he got mad at WoW's like like adventure design on their forums and then they hired him this was years ago ah, okay. he's been at blizzard for 20 years but he's a staple i've heard the name many times i yeah, just didn't know hi, where I'm or Jeff what from the overwatch team oh, okay right? All right like he would always do the developer up he's basically the face of overwatch mm. right lead designer for overwatch lead designer for overwatch 2 overwatch 2 is not done and it's not even close 
to done in the way that like a lead designer could be like, all right, you guys can get it over the hump now. But it's more than just started. Oh, yeah. Yeah. But it's like, it's weird. It is uh, nerve shaking for people to be like, is am, am Overwatch 2 okay? Mm-hmm. If Daddy Kaplan is leaving the team so abruptly and with a very small farewell note basically just like it's been a great 20 years i've had a blast goodbye not even gonna go spend time with my family just like there was yeah put on the jetpack and see you later yeah and so that's the that's why it wasn't a story in the episode because it's like there's not actually any it's just like jeff left blizzard everyone's surprised that's the story right and speculation the the speculation and this is purely speculation is that he was a big pushback against more aggressive monetization tactics like well like a battle pass or gating heroes behind paying money for behind them. paying money for certain heroes ah and so a supposition is that it got to a head where activision blizzard was like these are going in the game and kaplan was like well not if i'm still here and then them going cool so when would you like to retire yeah right that's again Pure speculation, mm-hmm, but mm-hmm. you can either fire you and you get X, or we can tell you to l- retire and we can give you a really nice golden parachute as mm-hmm. part of you getting the hell out of here. Yeah, and then that way we don't look like the assholes. The second thing, which is way way funnier, mm-hmm. is again that was all speculation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, um, itchio, yeah, itch itch dot io is now on the Epic Game Store. Like, no, wait. <laughs> like the the indie low cost or free tiny game developments hub. The storefront, yeah. yeah. Itchio yeah. itself is is now part of or just integrated into or accessible through. Access. You can go to the Epic Game Store and download the itch.io storefront. Ah, neat. Yeah. Weird. So, which is like. You know, it it there's there's a number of reasons why that's actually like good. Okay, yeah. Because it's 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 still free yeah. to get the storefront, but it's just like you, you could need, also just you could just go to itch.io. But it'd be like having Steam available through the Epic Games Store. Yes, isn't that weird? Yes. So do you do you know what our friend Andrew has done? Oh, what has our friend Andrew done? <laughs> he has <laughs> registered Tim Sweeney dot itch dot io. Oh. Right, which is Tim Sweeney is the head of Epic. Yeah. And has put the Epic Game Store on itch.io. Ah. <laughs> Until it's currently up at time of recording, because right. he only put it up like an hour ago. Right. We'll see how long it lasts. But yeah, you can go to, <laughs> you can just get, there's also a Fortnite thing, a graphic at the top that says unionize. But yeah, <laughs> you can get, you can download the Epic Game Store launcher from itch.io that's good because he was like well if you could put itch.io on epic we should be able to put epic on itch.io why not i'm i'm always i'm always a uh, very fond of a little culture jamming yeah uh, it's uh, yeah that's very very good i hope it stays up long enough for people to people to see it but that seems like the sort of thing that would get taken down pretty quickly mm-hmm, mm-hmm. i have nothing further to contribute oh me neither i mean i could talk for hours but why do that we have chill point Mm. Mm. Yes, you got time for that tomorrow. Mm-hmm.